Here we're going to be testing a pump system with a 120 volt power supply. Two inch is the pipe size for suction and return. The pump is a one and a half horsepower variable speed pump. Filter is 150 square feet. Cartridge filter. Let's get started here. So as you can see, inch and a half suction, uh, suction line is closed. We're going to be using the two inch line pump filter. Everything's closed off over here on the inch and a half bypass. We're going to be using this meter here, which is an analog flow meter that has a digital component added. And we will be monitoring the flow rate here, as you can see, currently listed at 13 gallons per minute. Uh, power we're going to be monitoring through this external wattage meter. 63 watts as you can see here. I've got a secondary power supply here that we can monitor as well. You know, you can see the parameters on here already in about 65 watts currently reading on here. So the system is already running. The pump's running at 500 RPM. You wouldn't know it unless you put your hand on it. They're very, very quiet at low RPMs. You wouldn't even think it's moving any water and on some pools it might not be, but on this one it is. 13 gallons per minute specifically. And that's why you need to have a flow meter, because you wouldn't be able to know if you're moving any water or not. So looking up here at the power, as I was saying, about 63 watts. And we can check amperage draw as well here. This is listed at 0.69. This one's listed at 0.75. I've noticed some small variation on the uh, very low end of the spectrum here. We'll check back in with those number comparisons as we draw a little bit more power. Seven hundred and fifty RPM. Again, so little you wouldn't even know. Is is my pool even circulating any water here? And twenty-two gallons per minute is actually an appreciable amount of water. What is also appreciable is how little power is being consumed here. Under a hundred watts, less than a one hundred watt light bulb, achieving twenty-two gallons per minute. Four watts. Same on this side. Checking on that power consumption here. 12.1 amps on this side. 12.4. Or sorry, 32 gallons per minute, just under 190 watts. Sixty three, two sixty two and a half, two sixty three, two point two five, two point two six. Wattage is pretty comparable. Two sixty. Just over two sixty. I wonder what this one says. 
1750. Five hundred and twenty watts. Four point four four amps. Seems to be about the same. About 62 gallons per minute, 700 and 705 watts maybe, put the same over there. Just over 70 gallons per minute, about 930 watts, almost exactly 8 amps there, yeah, 8.07. Six gallons per minute, 1,230 watts. So you can see here the decimal point has changed. Now we're showing 1.23 kilowatts or 1,230 watts. And this will be maximum RPM. Since the pump is supplied with 120 volts for the power supply, even though there is a higher RPM selection that you could make, this is the maximum power consumption, maximum speed, and maximum flow rate that you can achieve. 81 gallons per minute. Just a shade over 1500 watts. 1.5 kilowatts. So look at those numbers, 13 amps, 13.1, 13.2, 1.5 kilowatts or 1500 watts, 81 gallons per minute. We'll go ahead and dial this up, listen to the motor, it doesn't change. As you can see, no change, no change in the flow rate nor in the power consumption, and that's normal due to the current draw, 13 amps. It's the maximum that could be supplied on this circuit without increasing the breaker size and the wire size. And that's why you hear that number so much, 1500 watts. It's very commonly used for large appliances. Now it's important to recognize with all of these numbers, these are unique to each and every swimming pool. This is just one example 
of a swimming pool system and some flow rates that you can achieve and what the power consumption looks like at those flow rates but every pool is different your pool will be different than this but if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com